हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू फाइंडिंग आउट द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल राइट सो द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फाइंडिंग आउट द डेरिवेटिव यूजिंग द लिमिट डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव right so here uh, we have this function f of x which is uh, the sum of the exponential function and the logarithmic function and we have to find out the derivative of this function uh, using the first principle right so uh, we have already discussed about the first principle in our earlier videos so here uh, let us quickly see the definition of uh, Uh, the first uh, the derivative uh, using the first principle so suppose we have a function say y is equal to f of x uh, which is defined in some domain d then the derivative of y with respect to x is dy over dx and this is given by the limit uh, h tends to 0 and we have f of x plus h minus f of x divided by uh, h right where h is a very very small quantity which is also known as uh, infinitesimally small uh, number right so let us apply this limit definition of derivative to get the derivative of the function f of x which is uh, the sum of e to the x plus uh, log of x so now uh, we can write f prime of x as a limit h tends to 0 and we have f of x plus h so f of x plus h can be obtained by replacing x by x plus h so we have e raised to x plus h plus log of here we have x plus h and then uh, we have minus f of x and f of x is e raised to x plus log of x right and here in the denominator uh, we have h so now let us uh, rearrange the terms or combine the terms in the uh, numerator so we have limit h tends to 0 we have e raised to x plus h and here uh, from here we can take uh, minus e raised to x and we combine uh, these two terms right and then uh, we can combine these two log terms so we have log of x plus h and minus log of x right and here we have h so now uh, what we will do i uh, will uh, take e raised to x common from uh, these two terms because uh, see we can write e raised to uh, x plus h as e raised to x times e raised to h and here we have minus e raised to x and we can take e raised to x common so we have e raised to h minus 1 so here we have e raised to x e raised to h minus 1 and from here uh, we can use the Uh, properties of log that is log a minus log b is equal to log of a over b so here we have log of x plus h over x because uh, uh, a is x plus h and b is x and here uh, we have h so now the next step is to distribute this uh, h over the first term and the second term so what we will write we will write limit h tends to 0 and we have e raised to x e raised to h minus 1 over h and then uh, we have log of uh, here a uh, log of x plus h over x can also be written as x over x plus h over x so this is the log of 1 plus h over x right so here we have 1 plus h over x and uh, we have h in the denominator so now we have uh, two limits here 
so we can now write uh, e raised to x because uh, e raised to x is independent of h so we can take uh, this e raised to x outside this uh, limit notation so we have limit h tends to 0 e raised to h minus 1 over h and then uh, here we have a limit h tends to 0 and the natural log of 1 plus h over x uh, divided by h. So now uh, what we will do, uh, this is a direct uh, result from uh, limits, right? Because we know that limit theta tends to 0, uh, e raised to theta minus 1 over theta is equal to 1. So the value of this limit is equal to 1. So here we have e raised to x times 1 uh, that is e raised to x, right? And let us now consider this limit. So to evaluate this limit, uh, let us uh, here uh, write h over x uh, and multiply uh, by x, right? So here we have h over x and here also we have h over x. So again, uh, we can uh, make use of one direct result from uh, limits that is the limit uh, say uh, y tends to 0 and we have log of 1 plus y over uh, y is equal to 1. So here it is important to note that our y is uh, h over x, right? And when h tends to uh, 0, then h over x also tends to 0. It implies that y tends to 0 because h over x is assumed to be y, right? So the value of this limit is also equal to 1 and except here we have an extra term that is 1 over x, right? So now uh, we can write here e raised to x times 1 uh, plus uh, here we have 1 times 1 over x because the value of this limit is 1 and here we have 1 over x. So we have e raised to x plus 1 over x, right? So the derivative of this function uh, using the first principle is given by e raised to x plus 1 over x.